Beneath the turquoise waters of the Pacific lies a colossal scar stretching for thousands of kilometers, a chain of drowned mountains and volcanic giants known as the Hawaiian Ridge. At first glance, Hawaii seems like paradise, palm-fringed beaches, lush valleys, and fiery sunsets painting the slopes of towering volcanoes. But, hidden behind this postcard serenity is a geological story of almost unimaginable scale and danger. This seemingly tranquil island chain is the product of one of the most powerful forces on Earth, a mantle hotspot that has burned through the Pacific Plate for tens of millions of years, forging island after island in an unbroken line across the ocean. What most visitors don't realize is that these islands are still very much alive and volatile. Beneath the beaches and resorts, molten magma churns. Entire flanks of islands are creeping toward the sea, poised to collapse in cataclysmic landslides. Earthquakes rumble through the depths, and tsunamis from both distant and local sources have repeatedly wiped coastal towns from the map. Understanding the hidden hazards of the Hawaiian Ridge is crucial to grasping the fragile beauty and looming peril of these islands. Today, let's delve into the dangers of the Hawaiian Ridge, ranging from massive eruptions to catastrophic flank collapses and powerful earthquakes and tsunamis that could devastate the Pacific. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Stretching over 2,600 kilometers across the central Pacific Ocean, the Hawaiian Ridge is one of the most spectacular geological features on Earth. It forms the first half of the vast Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain, a string of volcanic islands and seamounts that arcs northwest from the island of Hawaii toward the Aleutian Trench near Kamchatka. This immense feature is the product of over 80 million years of volcanic activity driven by the movement of the Pacific Plate over a stationary hotspot deep within the Earth's mantle. The Hawaiian Ridge represents the younger and more topographically elevated part of this chain, encompassing the main Hawaiian islands and numerous submerged seamounts to their northwest. Unlike tectonically active regions along plate boundaries, the Hawaiian Ridge is formed in the middle of a plate, making it a textbook example of intraplate volcanism. As the Pacific Plate drifts northwestward at roughly 8 to 10 centimeters per year, magma periodically pierces through the crust above the hotspot, building towering shield volcanoes that eventually breach the ocean surface. These volcanoes grow rapidly through thousands of thin lava flows that accumulate to heights of over 9 kilometers from the seafloor. While some scientists suggest the hotspot may have drifted slightly south over time, most evidence indicates it has remained relatively fixed compared to the moving plate. This steady motion continues today, with the Big Island growing directly above the hotspot, while older islands are gradually pulled away, eroded, and submerged. Yet this movement also introduces stresses that contribute to hazards. The crust beneath the islands is flexed downward by their immense weight, storing elastic strain that occasionally releases as large earthquakes. The steep submarine slopes of these massive volcanoes are also gravitationally unstable, setting the stage for catastrophic landslides. Therefore, the Hawaiian Ridge is not just a relic of past volcanism, it is an active, dynamic, and potentially dangerous system. The most immediate geological threat along the Hawaiian Ridge is volcanic activity, concentrated on the Big Island. Kilauea and Mauna Loa are among the most active volcanoes on Earth, erupting frequently and producing vast lava flows that reshape the landscape. Kilauea's 2018 eruption destroyed over 700 homes and added more than 300 hectares of new land to the island. Mauna Loa's 2022 eruption sent lava flows toward populated areas, a stark reminder of the island's volatility. While Hawaiian eruptions are typically effusive, characterized by fluid lava flows rather than explosive blasts, they can still be devastating. Fast-moving lava flows can overrun communities, infrastructure, and farmland. Lava entering the ocean produces hazardous steam plumes laden with hydrochloric acid and fine glass particles. Volcanic gases are another insidious hazard. Sulfur dioxide emissions create volcanic smog that can blanket downwind areas, 
harming respiratory health, damaging crops, and corroding infrastructure. In addition, future eruptions from Mauna Loa, Kilauea, or the submarine volcano Loihi are inevitable. Loihi, though still 1,000 meters below sea level, may become Hawaii's next island in tens of thousands of years. Farther northwest along the ridge, volcanoes are extinct and no longer erupt, but they are not without danger. Their steep, unstable slopes pose a different kind of threat, catastrophic flank collapse. Hawaiian volcanoes are among the largest piles of loose volcanic rock on Earth. Built rapidly from thin, porous basalt, their submarine slopes are oversteepened and riddled with fractures. Over millions of years, gravitational instability, intrusive magma, and seismic shaking have triggered colossal landslides, some of the largest on Earth. Off the shores of Oahu and Hawaii lie enormous debris fields tens of kilometers long, evidence of past flank collapses. The Nuanu slide off Oahu's northeast coast removed a chunk of the island more than 2,000 cubic kilometers in volume and scattered blocks the size of Manhattan across the ocean floor over 200 kilometers away. The Wailau slide off Molokai and the Alika slide off the Big Island are similarly immense. Such collapses are rare on human timescales, occurring every 100,000 to several million years, but their potential consequences are staggering. When a massive volume of rock plunges into the ocean, it displaces vast amounts of water, generating mega tsunamis hundreds of meters high near the source, and still tens of meters high thousands of kilometers away. A future flank collapse could devastate Hawaii and send destructive waves across the Pacific. On the southeast flank of the Big Island, the Helena Slump is a broad, seaward-moving block, bounded by active faults and rift zones. Research shows it is creeping seaward at centimeters per year in places, occasionally punctuated by larger slip during earthquakes. Could the Hylena slump fail catastrophically and produce a mega tsunami? Scientists are actively investigating this scenario. The consensus is that the slump is moving. However, whether a sudden, whole block detachment is likely on human timescales remains uncertain and is considered by many to be a low probability high-consequence event. More plausible are partial failures, which could still generate dangerous local tsunamis. Earthquakes are another major geological threat along the Hawaiian Ridge, particularly beneath the Big Island. Most are triggered by magma movement and faulting within the volcanoes themselves, but some occur deep within the lithosphere as the plate bends under the island's immense weight. The largest Hawaiian earthquake on record, a magnitude 7.9 event in 1868, struck the southern Big Island, killing 77 people and generating a destructive tsunami. More recently, a magnitude 6.9 quake in 2018 accompanied the Kilauea eruption, collapsing parts of the summit caldera. Deep intraplate quakes beneath the older islands are less common, but possible, as stresses accumulate in the flexed Pacific plate. Even moderate shaking could destabilize submarine slopes or trigger underwater landslides capable of producing tsunamis. The Hawaiian ridge's position in the middle of a tectonic plate makes it unusual. It is seismically active despite being far from plate boundaries. This intraplate seismicity stems from flexural stresses, magma intrusions, and gravitational instability. As long as the islands continue to grow and subside, earthquakes will remain an inherent hazard. The Hawaiian islands are extremely vulnerable to tsunamis, generated by distant megathrust earthquakes around the Pacific Ring of Fire. Historic events underscore this danger. The 1946 Aleutian quake sent 14-meter waves that killed 159 people in Hilo, and the 1960 Chilean quake sent 10-meter waves that devastated the same city again. Because of Hawaii's central location, it is exposed to tsunamis from all sides. Locally generated tsunamis pose an even greater danger because they strike with little or no warning. Volcanic flank collapses, underwater landslides, or large local earthquakes could send waves ashore within minutes. The 1868 Big Island earthquake produced a local tsunami that swept away coastal villages. 
the potential for a future Mauna Loa flank collapse to generate a mega tsunami remains one of the most extreme worst-case scenarios for Hawaii. The Hawaiian ridge's evolution is far from over. As the Pacific Plate continues to drift, the existing islands will slowly erode, subside, and disappear beneath the waves. Southeast of the Big Island, however, the submarine volcano Loihi is rising and will eventually form a new island tens of thousands of years from now. The cycle of island birth, growth, and death will continue for millions of years as long as the hotspot remains active. Modern monitoring networks, seismic arrays, GPS systems, satellite measurements, and ocean sensors provide unprecedented ability to track the island's hazards. Yet predicting exactly when a major eruption, landslide, or earthquake will occur remains elusive. In the coming centuries, Hawaii's resilience will depend on how well it integrates geologic knowledge into planning and preparedness. Building codes, land use restrictions on hazardous slopes and coasts, early warning systems, and public education will all be crucial. The Hawaiian Ridge will always be dynamic, but human vulnerability can be managed. Understanding its hazards is not about fearing nature, but about respecting the immense forces that shape our world, and preparing wisely for the day when they awaken again beneath Hawaii's tranquil shores.